Hey friends, happy Monday. I'm Melanie with Cedar Grove Farms and it is time for our Monday night live sale. Lots of noise going on tonight because Vanna is out there stirring up the cows, so you'll hear lots of fussing. But they have been all excited today playing in the hay. I guess they're getting frisky with this cooler weather. As you hop on, say hello so that I know that you're here and so that Facebook will show us to more people. If you are new, welcome. And please let us know that you're new so that we can watch out for questions. Hey, Kathy. So I will quickly go over how this works if you haven't watched us before. I have a numbered list of items. Hey, Uncle Bill. I have 37 on the list tonight. I'm going to show you the items, tell you about them, give you a price, show you some ways to use them, and then if you would like to purchase them, comment sold and the item number. Hey, Sandy. So if you want item number three, say sold number three. If you want two of number three, say sold number three times two. Hey, Evelyn. Hey, Abby. Abby's watching from home, and she will be uh, moderating tonight and answering any of your questions that I miss. Hey, Tammy, good to have you back this week. Also, if someone purchases something you wanted and missed, go ahead and comment backup number three. That way, in case we find another one on the shelf, or sometimes someone wants one item or wants two items, but... Someone beats them to the first item and then it doesn't matter because they ha wanted to use them together. So anyway, comment back up because then you get first choice. Hey, Linda. Hey, Peggy. Hey, Eileen. So what else do I need to tell you? Oh, uh, if you are a first time buyer, we need your email address because we will send you an email invoice. You'll scroll down to the bottom, click pay, and that's how you will pay us. Also, if you need shipping, we need your shipping address, and if you're someone who sometimes needs shipping and sometimes doesn't, tell us how you'd like us to do it this week. Hey, Cheryl. So, the entire shop smells like lavender. So excited for our lavender event this weekend. Dried lavender, lavender bath bombs, new lavender soap from France. Oh, it smells so good. I'll show you some here in a minute. So, lots of fun waiting for you this weekend. All right, let's get going. Get a quick sip of water. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Bonnie. All right, so we're going to get going. First up, we have our metal Spartan holders. We have these in white and black, kind of an oil rubbed bronze look the other one is because it's brown and has some gold on it. So all metal, indoor or outdoor. Hey Jacqueline. I love the fact that you have the closed portion here that you can put something like a candle or something else on, but you can also decorate this way. So. This one is item number one. It is 15 inches tall and five and a half inches wide. It is $20. We are going to add to it item number two. This is our wool crest succulent. So you see you've got kind of the white berries, all of the lighter green soft green stems in there. Also got some little touches of purple and pink and some little white flowers and some succulents. We are going to put this on the bottom. This is item number two. It is $9. We're just going to tuck it in there. See, it automatically makes this look bigger, give it more interest. Hey, Tracy. Then to that, I'm going to add one of our round top holders. This one is the little Dutch bunny, so it's white, and then the bunny is kind of a grayish brown and white, so this is one that you can definitely 
use year round. Oh, Debbie, you're in St. Simons. I am jealous. So this is item number three, the round top rabbit on white background. Two of these available, $19. And we're just going to get it situated here. Then I'm going to decorate the top. So for the top, I'm going to add item number four. This is our cute green ceramic bird. He is $14 and I'm just going to stick him up here. So even with these pieces, you have options to change this up. We could, instead of the round top, put a candle on the bottom. Could also leave the round top on the bottom, put the candle on top. We could have just the round top on the bottom. Actually, round top and the bird, I think. Round top and the bird, and put the candle ring on top with the candle. So, all kinds of different ways you can use this. So, quick recap on all of this. Item number one is the white metal Spartan holder, $20. Item number two is the wool crest succulent candle ring, $9. Item number three is the round top rabbit on white background. Two of these available, $19. And item number four is the green ceramic bird. And you can see him better from this side. See his green. He is $14. These are also wonderful for weddings or showers. Uh, one of those pieces that you can achieve lots of height and make things look different. So that's another fun thing with those because you can see through them. So if they're on your table, it's not going to block anyone's view. Move all of these. So do we have anyone new tonight? Hey, Pam Miller. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Sandra. Everybody hopping on now. All right, we made it up through item number four. So item number five, some very fun organic pieces tonight. So item number five is our moss mushroom. So this is real moss that has been cleaned and attached to the mushroom. It can be placed indoors or outdoors, just needs to stay away from the sun or it will start to turn brown. Hey Kay, hey Becky, big hugs to you Becky. So this one is our small size. We have two of the small sizes and four of the large available. This is 10 inches tall and eight inches across. Item number five, it is $26. I know I love what you did with yours, Sandy. It's so cute. So we are going to build a little vignette underneath this cloach. We just got in a new shipment. So come on out when we have all the different sizes to choose from. This is the medium. So this can be used indoor or outdoor. Already has a great rusted white patina. It is 20 inches tall and it is 12 and a half inches in diameter. And again, it is the medium size. It is item number six. It is $52. And I'm just going to put this over it. Wonderful thing is I can reach in and move things around in there if I'd like. So next, I want to add our adorable sitting rabbit. So he is resin, and he is just super cute. Love his little basket. It kind of looks gray, and then it can also look green. So he is $31. Let's see, he is item number seven. And so, of course, we need something to fill his basket. So lots of options. You could use eggs, you could use candy, you could use 
little dried flowers, so many things. But tonight I am going to use our pink tiny mercury glass. So the tiny pink mercury glass comes in two shades. So you've got the really dark pink and the light pink. And it comes in three different shapes. These are $1.25 each or 12 or $12. And I'm putting six in here. I don't think I gave you a number on that bunny either. So the bunny is item number seven. He was $31. The tiny pink mercury glass ornaments are item number eight. I'm gonna put that under here, but I thought I would put everything together before I lift it up again. So, grab one other thing. So now this is going to give us the pop of color. We've got the green and we've got, I should have told Vanna to get off the four wheeler. He's going to make the cows scream the whole time. So maybe he'll finish with what he's doing here in a minute. I thought I'd move that so it's not dangling down in there. So we've got our two items. We need our third. So I'm adding in this gorgeous nest. It's got three duck egg blue eggs in there. And then this is all the different little twigs and some dried flowers. So this is item number nine, the three egg nest. And it is $7. And just absolutely adorable. Something that you can keep up year round. You can choose different colors of the mercury glass. We have those in green and we have those in gold. So just a cute, unusual, unexpected thing to have the moss mushroom. And it kind of, even the look of the bunny gives me the Alice in Wonderland look. All right, so recap on all of this. Item number five is the small moss mushroom. This can be used indoor or outdoor. Two available, $26. Item number six, the super versatile medium white metal cloach is $52. Item number seven, the sitting white rabbit with basket is $31. Item number eight, inside his basket are the pink tiny mercury glass ornaments. Those are $1.25 each or $12 for 12. And then last up, item number nine, the three egg nest, hey Stella, is item number nine, seven dollars. Okay, now I'm going to show you some different looks. We could go through the bigger hole, take out the nest. I would love to see this on a silver tray but my trays are too small for this. I've sold all my larger trays. So imagine that as well, that if this were on a silver tray, this would be even prettier. So another option instead of the nest is one of our white cast iron birds. Hey, Beverly. So he's already got a good patina going, nice and heavy, can put him outside. Maybe even the crazy winds we're having, he wouldn't get knocked over because he doesn't have any feet, so he sits pretty flat. So he is item number 10 and he is $20. So if we wanted to go all white, we can put him in. So another great look. Now we're going to change up the look all together. Let's take out all of this stuff and redo it differently. So I love using these with a wreath and you're about to see why. So this is one of our Real Touch eucalyptus wreaths. Fabulous color and texture on these. 
So this is item number 11. Only two of these available. They are 18 inches across, $43. So look at the difference it makes when we use it. This is, I had it hanging on the wall, so there's a little bit of twine around it. But how much bigger this makes everything look. And you know, it just looks like it's growing now. So I love this look. So now something to go inside it. I was feeling all the silver tonight. So I'm going to put just a single piece in there because you know we like to work in odd numbers. So I put three pieces in before. Now we're just gonna do one large piece. So I'm going to start out with this vintage silver water pitcher. See, it has the little thing across there, water pitcher. This one is item number 12. It is $32, gorgeous handle. This is in excellent vintage condition. Uh, already a nice silver color, but you could easily polish it up to be super shiny. It is in wonderful condition. I slide this over just a minute so that I can build this. So then I'm going to add item number 13. These are our Real Touch Blush Roses. They come in a bundle of seven. And I am going to bend them just a hair, and I mean truly just a hair, because I want to get this really nice and full. So all I'm going to do is put them in and kind of mesh them together. If you wanted to have some greenery, you would only need th uh, two of the bundles of roses, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like both ways. I thought I wanted greenery until I got it done, but I really love this really thick look of putting three in there. Just super simple and elegant, a million places you could use those. So the roses were item number 13, they are $15 per bouquet. I'm gonna pull this back over and add this to it. It's just so simple, so elegant. Imagine that on your kitchen table, your dining room table, your entryway. If you've got a large open spot like in your bathroom between your two sinks on the vanity, on a side table in your bedroom. Just very, very French country and very spring. Hey, Paula. Hey, Julie. All right, quick recap on this, and then I'm going to add some greenery in there and let you see which way you like it. So item number six is the medium white metal cloach, $52. Then we skip down to item number 11, the eucalyptus wreath, this is an 18 inch wreath. Last two of these available, $43. Item 12 in here is the vintage silver water pitcher, $32. Item 13, the Real Touch Blush Rosebud bouquets are $15. Now, if you wanted to add some greenery to this, this is the one I would pick, and that is the rain washed and that's because of the colors. See, the colors are just dead on. So I'll show you because this is the way I had done it to start off with, but I decided I liked it better with just roses. So you tell me what you think. You've seen it with just roses. Now we're going to really spread out our rain washed. This is item number 14, it is $10. And we're going to just tuck one bundle of roses on one side, one on the other. We're kind of collaring it, putting it all around the roses. Then I want to reach in and bring some of that greenery up and through the middle. We'll put it back in. And you tell me, what do you like better? All roses or roses and the rain washed? could also put a book 
up under here and lift this a little bit. I kind of actually prefer that so that you can see more of the gorgeous picture. So which way do you like it? With the greenery or without? Let me know. All right. I love that these cloches are so wonderful indoors and outdoors. I love to put them on a large urn and then it looks like you have something going on with the urn even when flowers are dead. And then when you do have something growing in there, it's just really spectacular. So love that I can use it both ways. All right, that got us up to item number 14. So now, are you ready, Pam Miller? I have a, an easel. So we have been talking about that, that I was going to try an easel. Yay, Abby brought me one. And see if I can build my flower arrangements using the easel as my third hand. So here we go. Hey, Aunt Sue. Hey, Sheila. So this is item number 15. This is one of our fisherman style baskets. This has all the metal, see all the metal in there. So these are nice baskets, really strong and love these to hang on the wall or on the door. I'm gonna show you a really cute, soft Frenchy arrangement tonight. So this is item number 15, it is $29. And I'm going to add to it the Summer, I'm uh, sorry, Woolcrest Succulent Candle Ring I've already showed you. This was item number two, it's $9. So I've spread it out a lot. So it looks very different than what I showed you before, before it was all like this. And I've also kind of bent it a little bit so it's the same shape as the top of my basket. So instead of round, now it's more oval. And you'll see why I have done that. So now, because I have stretched out everything, you're going to be able to see this and it gives us our spill for our arrangement. And some of this in the back, of course, is not gonna be able to spill, so we stand it straight up so that we can use it in amongst our flowers. But now we have this wonderful flowing down and it's going to hold all of our other flowers in better. So next up, I'm gonna add item number 16. These are our blush cabbage roses. So if you visited us in the summer, you know these are exactly like our roses on our climbing trellis. Hey, Victoria. So these are item number 16. They are $20 per bundle. And this is a bundle you're seeing here. And I am going to just start tucking them in. I'm gonna kind of bring that succulent around because we want to be able to see it. I'm gonna do another one on the other side. I'm just holding this one until I can get it in as they kind of hold each other up, you can see. So you could stop right there, but I'm picturing this on a door, so I want something a little bit larger. So I am going to add some thrill. This is our fill, this is our spill, and this is going to be our thrill. So this is item number 17. This is a moss twig, something we also use year round. These were gorgeous in our Christmas trees. So, so many things you could do with these. So item 17, $9. I have bent it to get it the right length we want. Yes, that was my knuckle cracking. Reach back in here and tuck it in. You see, I've got this one from the back of the wreath. I'm gonna bring that around and there we go. Now we have all of the elements and it makes the arrangement look so much bigger when we add that thrill. So recap on all of this, item 15 is our fisherman style basket, $29. 
We reused the Woolcrest succulent candle ring. That was item number two. It's $9. Then we added item 16, the blush cabbage roses. Those are 20. And item 17, the moss twig. That was $9. And big hand for the easel. Did that not work fabulously? Yay. So you can stop right there. Hey, Lauren. Or we can add just a little something extra. You know I'm all about the little something extra. So love these. This is item 18, gold cross. And see it has like an opal and little diamonds in the center. This is actually a uh, Christmas tree ornament, but we use Christmas ornaments year round, everywhere, in every way we can, because this is very, very French country. Hey, Karen. So this is item number 18. It is $12. And I would reach in here and I would tie this right here. But for our purposes, I'm just going to hold it up here so that you can see it, tuck in that ugly tag, and see how much more this brings out everything and how much more elegant it looks to add this cross to the front. Then, another option, if you're not as much into gold and want to be a little bit more rustic, are these cute pearl crosses and they have the little metal heart on the front. Sometimes I take the heart off and use it without it. So then you just have the rusty wire and the different size pearls. So this one is item number 19. It is $12 also. And I'll show you how it looks with this one. Ugly tag, but there you go makes such a difference adding all these little extras. All right, that got us up through item number 19. Move this. Thank you, little easel. You were so helpful. Love having that third hand to help with arrangements. So up next, you know, I'm all about risers, something that lifts everything up. So I'm calling this one a white gingerbread riser. Does anyone know what gingerbread is other than the obvious Christmas treat? So the old homes that have all the decorative woodwork around the front, that is called gingerbread. So this is a reproduction piece, but that's what this reminds me of is the antique gingerbread on the upper porch and the actual porch railing as well. So I'm calling this the gingerbread riser. So this is one of my favorites. So this is 17 inches long by 11 inches wide. It is item 20 and it is $57. And see, it even looks like you've just cut off the railing where it has like the little ball and stick. So super cute piece. So now we're going to use this as our hill and build our beautiful things on top. So I'm going to add the standing rabbit. So I showed you the sitting rabbit a few minutes ago. This one. So his basket looks like copper that has oxidized. So it has the dark brown, but the verdigris color over top. And so he's standing up and has his basket on his back. He is item number 21. He is also $31. So the sitting was 31 and the standing is as well. Had to have something to fill his basket. And I told you that we have the tiny mercury glass in other colors. So this is item number 22, the green and gold mercury glass, same price. These are $1.25 each or 
12 for $12 and you can mix and match any of your colors. So you could get green, gold, and pink. We have just a very few blue left, so I didn't say anything about those because I'm not sure how many we have. It's not many, but if you wanted any blue, we can mix and match. And I love the way the green mercury glass pulls out all the bluish greens in here too. And the greens and golds are something you can definitely use year round, like the pink. So there's our cute bunny. Then I'm going to add some lavender because I know that lots of you live in other states and aren't able to come to our lavender event. So I wanted to show you some of the things that we will be having. This is our faux potted lavender. So you've got lavender and some eucalyptus and it comes in its own little pot. So it's completely ready. You don't have to do anything to it. You can just sit it out. So it is item number 23, it is $16, but you know me and I can't leave well enough alone. So I have to have something pretty to put it in. So this is one of our real moss planters. So you can put faux florals in this. It should have a liner, but when I picked it up, I didn't take time to get one. You can also put the liner in there and put a potted plant or put some water in there and put some fresh florals as well. So this is item 24, the square moss container. It's the size medium, so we have a small and a large, and it is $8. I'll give you a size on this. It is five and a half inches tall and five and a half inches square, okay? so. Here's the pot of lavender by itself. Here it is down in the container. So close up, so cute. Then I'm looking for, there it is, my item number two. You're gonna see me use this tons of times tonight. This was that Woolcrest succulent candle ring. So look at the difference with this. Here's this. Now, if we, and see it's the same color. She got those perfect matching purples in there. Now, look how much bigger our arrangement looks when we put it in here. You've got all this extra. So that's the wonderful thing about having all the different wreaths is you can use them in so many unexpected ways, okay? So we're going to push that to the back, get our bunny all situated. So we've got item one, two, we need our third item over here. So I'm wanting something that is of similar color and similar size as this bunny. So I'm going to add this gorgeous white terracotta vase. So it is terracotta and then it's glazed over top. So you've got all this wonderful crackle in here. And this is a light gray. We have some that have blue that I've shown you before, but this one is gray. So something that you can use for florals or in this instance to get my height correct, we're just gonna use this just as is. So now we have that wonderful balance going on. So the vase, is item number 25. It is eight and a half inches tall and it is $26. Now, is it done? Do you feel like everything goes together, doesn't need anything else? Maybe. I feel like it needs one more thing. We've got green, green, white, white, and we've got this gold the only gold anywhere, and we've got this empty space here. So, if you've watched long enough, you know what I want to put there. I want to put decor beads. So these are item number 26. They are 72 inches long, and they have the long, pretty jute at the bottom. Yep, need something in front. So I have got these almost in half. Now I'm going to twist this around and tie a knot. 
but I'm going to leave it loose because I want to put this around my container. I'll take this off. Be sure I don't break anything. And I'm going to put my container in the middle of here because what we want to do is just to anchor it so that it can flow down. Now, this gold picks up this gold. We've covered our spot in the front. It's something nice and low, and we've got that wonderful flow. So, quick recap on all of this. Item number 20 is the white gingerbread riser, 17 inches by 11 inches, $57. Item 21, the white standing rabbit with basket. He is $31. In his basket is item 22, the green and gold tiny mercury glass ornaments. Those are $1.25 each or $12 per dozen. Item 23 is the potted lavender. That is $16. Item 24, the square moss container medium is five and a half inches tall and five and a half inches square. Eight dollars. Item 25, the eight and a half inch white and gray ceramic vase is twenty-six dollars. Item 26, the 72 inch gold decor beads is sixteen dollars. And I also put the uh, Woolcrest succulent wreath around there. That was item number two, and it's $9. Remember, if I miss any questions, to ask again. And Abby is watching, too, and she will often catch any that I miss. So this weekend, we will have real lavender as well. Talk to the nursery today, and they have four different kinds in so I will be going to pick that up. So we have it over the weekend. We've got dried lavender bundles. We've got all kinds of wonderful uh, products from two different lavender farms and lavender soap that we just ordered from France. So yes, we just got our new French soap order in and I'll show you what I can of that at the end when we do our shop tour, but it smells so wonderful in here. So wonderful. I don't know about you, but lavender is my favorite smell. Favorite. Okay. I got up to item number 27. So remember I told you I was feeling the silver tonight. So item 27 is a 13 inch silver platter by International Silver Company. This one is also in very good vintage condition. You can see it has little bits of scrapes on here where someone actually used it, but it is nicely cleaned, has lots of good detail on it, and this one has a decent weight. So not thin, nice weighted one. It is item 27, 13 inch platter, $30. Then I'm going to add item 28. This is a very nice vintage silver teapot. So it's dark because I haven't cleaned it, but you definitely will be able to clean it up. Love this wonderful shape that it has. This has a lot of weight. So this one, it says on the bottom, P.S. Co. So that means the Pool Silver Company. It's from Taunton, Massachusetts. It is, let's see, I did not measure it. Eight inches tall and nine and a half inches wide. Again, this is a nice weighty piece. It is item 28 and it is $29. Gonna sit it towards the back and we're gonna open it up and use it as a vessel. So I'm going to add item 29. These are our new 
white real touch hydrangeas. This is just one hydrangea. I mean, it is a big hydrangea. It is, I cannot cover it all with my hand. These are low stock. I did not count them, but somewhere around 12 to 15 is all we have left. Everyone has loved these. I think we've not had these in the shop even three weeks and they're almost gone. So this is item 29. These are $6.50 each. And I'm just going to bend them. So I got one in there. Have to kind of hold it because these stems don't have a lot of metal in them. But once I get two in there, it gets tight enough. But how gorgeous is that? Just as a standalone piece. Love how the white really shows off the blue tinge of the uh, silver. There's some silver that really goes to kind of a blue patina as it, well, ages you can say or needs cleaning. I don't like it cleaned as much because I love to get those blue tinges, but you can clean it up and make it nice and bright silver. All right, so that's one thing here. The next thing I want to add is our cute little white distressed bird. Love the poses they did on this bird. They're three different ones. So this is item number 30 and he is $11 or she. That looks like a she, doesn't it? It's got that feminine look about it. Then I'm going to add to that another nest. This has the green moss in it and the larger duck egg blue eggs. This is item 31, the two egg nest, and those are $4. See if I can hide that ugly tag. And see this brings in the greens up here, the pretty white bird mimics the white we have in our flowers here. Something that's just super elegant, super simple. Something that you would use for many, many years to come. So recap on this. The silver tray is item number 27. It's 13 inch silver platter by International Silver Company, $30. Item 28, the silver teapot, by Pool Silver Company from Massachusetts, $29. Item 29, the white Real Touch Hydrangeas, $6.50 each. Item 30, the Distressed White Bird is $11. And item 31, the Two Egg Nest is $4. Then our last vignette is all about bees. So first up, I'm using books as my riser and to give me some color. So I am adding this 1958 college book. This is McGraw-Hill Electrical and Electronic Engineering. So it is in excellent vintage condition. This little thing on the back, I, you see how it, it's just like a piece of, I'm going to say plastic for lack of a better word, but uh, no idea why it's on there, but I thought it was cool. So I left it, but you can easily take it off if you don't like it. So the book is item 32, 1958, $8. I'm going to turn it kind of. Yeah, I think I want you to see the spine. I want to play up the black. Then this one has the same colors. This is item 33, 1936, Greg's shorthand book. I love this just for what's in it. I mean, can you imagine knowing how to read that? That's just so cool. And if I were to ever get really bored, I might sit here and learn how to do this but I think it is very cool. 
So I'm going to stack that up next. Then I'm going to add item number 34. This is one of our mini <clears throat> B skips. <coughs> Sorry. It is so dry. My throat is so dry. Okay. <clears throat> mini B skip. This is item number 34, $16. And if you have a B skip, you need a B, right? So I am adding one of our cute wooden B ornaments. This is item number 35, $8. And I can hang him on here and make him look like he is just flying around the skip, about to land and go inside. Do you still use some of your shorthand? Girl, you're smart. You're going to have to tell me about all that. I think that is very cool. So item 36, these are super cool. So it is a cast iron B tray that is painted gold. And I love that it has these little pieces. You're gonna see I'm gonna use it to make this stand up. So this would be adorable in your bathroom to use as a soap dish, or you could use it in bathroom or bedroom to put rings and jewelry in, all kinds of cute things you could do with this. And it's just adorable as is. So now we can hang it on there, kind of like the bee is flying. And that really draws your attention to it, it up at that angle. And then the last item I'm gonna add to give us one more little thing right here and to, um, Now that I'm thinking when I sit it down, I can't remember how I had it placed before. I may get it wrong. So this is item 37, our gold bird. It is $8, $9, sorry, $9. And let me come around front and see how I had it before. Yeah, because that kind of hides the bird. Sorry, opposite side. There we go. Sometimes I get it backwards when I'm trying to do it backwards, but Super cute little vignette. Don't really have to have the gold bird, but I thought he was cute sitting up there. It would be fine with just one and one, but different color scheme than what I usually use. So recap on this, on the bottom, the 1958 Electrical and Electronic Engineering College Book, $8. The 1936 Greg's Shorthand Book, $8. Item 34, the mini B skip, $16. Item 35, the wood B ornament, $8. Item 36, the gold cast iron B tray, $20. And item 37, the cute little gold bird is $9. So, as promised, I'm going to take you down and show you some of our lavender items. So I have the lights on on the porch. I thought I would show you around on the porch a little bit. So think about if there is something else you wanted to see. All those big boxes over there, that's where we opened up all of our soap from France we just got in. And We've got a big Piper and Leaf box over there that we haven't, sorry, it was really wrapped around tonight, that we just got in because we've got a lavender tea we're going to have for you to try this weekend. So the lavender farm in Louisiana, we've got the different sachets. We just got back in more of our pillow and linen mist. We've got their lavender soaps. We also just got in these. These are nice and scrubby, kind of like a uh, loofah scrubby, and you put the soap down in them. Then you can scrub with this. Love those. 
We also just restocked on our lavender body lotion. We were all oohing and on over this today. We've got a tester that you can try out and it is just incredibly moisturizing and the smell is fabulous. We also just got back in the Lavender Castile Hand Soap. That's always a huge seller and sells out. We have the Shower Gel, the Dead Sea Salt Body Scrub, so many things from there. And then they were not able to get their plants going enough to be able to get the dried lavender bundles for us. So we got those from a homestead farm in Oregon. And these, first time we've ever had these, are the Savon de Marseille soap in lavender scent. So the fabulous soap that we've carried for quite some time, but now with this fabulous lavender scent. We have been out of that size in the olive oil soap, and we got that back in, if I can get it to the correct side in a minute. Well, we're just gonna go for that one, so I can't get the correct side. But this is 72% olive oil and just incredible for your skin. We also got in, several people had been asking about getting the small, normal, uh, American-shaped bars from France. So we got those in, in lavender and argon oil. Yes, I can't wait to try that. And there was another scent. Abby, do you remember what that other scent was? You can type in and tell us. But here's all the little boxes in the floor. So we've been working on those. Let's see. Here they are, actually. Let's see if we can tell what scent that is. But these... That is, I believe, shea butter, because that's butter, and I think that is what that is, is shea. So this should be... Oh, they smell wonderful. And then these are the argon oil. And see, they're made in Marseille also. So all kinds of wonderful things for this weekend. And this is the lavender bar that you guys have been asking for. So, so many wonderful things for the weekend. So I was going to take you out on the porch. Let me know if there was anything that you wanted to see in here. We are very low on our glass cloches. We only have two of this size crown left. The gold lace crown is completely gone. And then we have three of this one left. We have a few of our blue crowns. So definitely the crowns have been going quickly. If you haven't seen this, this is adorable. It's the moss birdhouse on this side, and then on the back side is a planter. So you plant your cute little plants and let it, I'd love to see that with some ivy hanging down and some um, either geraniums or impatiens in the back. So, so cute. So let's see what I've got on the porch. I think the four-wheeler is gone. No more cow noise. So we've got our birdhouses and feeders out. This is another one of the cloches like I showed you tonight. Uh, some of our old gates. We've gotten back in different wind chimes and rain chains and can't really see over there i was going to show you we've got the stack of um, 
the metal cloches in. This time I've got white and green. Normally I have white and black, but I was not able to get black this time. So we have a really cool green as a new color. Think that you will really enjoy it. Everybody's being very quiet. Anything in particular you wanted to see? These adorable Queen Anne bird houses. And if you haven't seen these, these are really cool. This is a big flamed metal hummingbird. And he just hangs on the wall. That one's crooked. We're kind of hanging them. They should hang from a little piece right here, but we made it easier on ourselves and put them there. These are some of my favorites. You've got the um, garden face. These are cast iron. The white iron bench. Um, this antique cast iron one here. This one is 300. I know you can't see it very well with all the stuff we have on it, but it is in very good shape and it is 300. The metal hummingbird, going back over to that, lots of our other moss bird houses. The metal hummingbird, he is quite large. He is $29. We have four of those and he is $29. We also have the, oh, another large white bench. Okay, this is a, a flamed metal cardinal as well. Price of the birdhouse planter. I will, let me get that at the end, Cheryl, because I'll probably have to have something to stand on to reach up there and get a price for you on that. Okay, so this bench right here is, 209. This is a really nice one too. Love all the details on this. It's nice weight, 209. So Cheryl, don't let me forget at the end to go back in there and climb up and get you a price on that. These are been super popular. The single stem white and pink hydrangeas and so we've moved what little we have left out here these are five dollars oh yeah i can ship that without any problem Lauren. also i don't know if you have seen these these have been incredible sellers this year so this is the faux boxwood and since i got them close together you can't sit quite as well but it just looks so good on this planter so they're sold separately but really pretty just you know flop it down anywhere and it looks great and let's see this is it in a larger container and this is adorable this is our concrete bunny planter and it's got its own little tray that goes with it and you just put your little plant in there. Very cute. Will do Debbie. Let me know what you would like to know. Got some of our fabulous ferns out here. So these are just individual pieces. We just put them all in to look like a big fern if I can get one out. But these are wonderful for all of your arrangements. These are six dollars. Then this is the hay scented fern I had in last week's. Love this with florals. It's just a, such a soft look. Um, the different rain chains. We've got the lily cup rain chain and the watering can. 
This is a neat outdoor piece. You could put either candles in here or do flowers like we've done. And just a nice wall piece. Several of diff different uh, outdoor signs. We've got the new black wall planter. And then this is the large white. That is the small black. I think we sold out of the large black the first big weekend we were open. I think we only have small black left. These are our beneficial bug houses. These are wonderful to attract the bugs you do want in your garden, the um, lace wings, earwigs, um, the good spiders, the solitary bees. They just make their home in there and will stay nearby. Got in this new curvy bell wind chime. It does sit nicely. Cushions do work on it. Uh, and we've got a long uh, back cushion that looks really good with it that is a blue and white toile. So this is adorable little planter. You can hang this on your fence or porch railing and put your little plant in there. Love those. This is a new one we just got. See, it looks like a little sink that you can put your plants in. And our hummingbird swings. That is one of the few rust-colored cloches we have left. And this is a piece we made out of antique garden fence and an old window frame. This is adorable wall hanging indoor or out. I can send you lots of pictures and answer questions and try to help you figure out if it's the right one for you. Love this old headboard to decorate with indoors or out. You know, we love to hang stuff like that on the wall. Got this old piece that we made from a header and some stair railing, and then this wonderful old frame. Can't remember what we had in the center, but it sold quickly. Gotta replace that. Oh, and this cast iron garden angel. She is fabulous and she is, oh, she's about 16 inches tall. So she is very nice and large. Hey, Margaret, hey, Joan. So we're doing our tour here at the end of our live sale. So is there anything anyone wanted to see inside? One of our wall fountains. This is our crown bird feeder. And it has its own bracket as well that this hangs from. So it mounts like that and hangs down. And this is an old vintage bench. The frogs are 149 and they are adorable. This is Slick Rick. He's been out fishing, so he's got his little metal fish and his, I don't know, is that a, a net of some sort? And one thing a customer did that was so cute is she put this in her bathroom and managed to get this where she could put a toilet paper roll on there. So cute. The crown bird feeder with the bracket is okay. Don't let me down. It is either 86 or 89, Debbie. It is all metal, and I know that much, but the tags have come off. This wind is killing us. Here's one with a tag on it. Good deal. 89. 
And there you can see the bracket beside it. But I have two of those on my gazebo and I absolutely love them. Okay, I'm gonna go back in and get a price for Cheryl on the Moss Birdhouse with the planter on the back. Anybody, I am about to sneeze, have anything else you wanted to take a look at? <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see, of course the tag is flipped over. So I was thinking I could just reach up there with the camera and you would be able to see. Whoops, sorry. My whole thing just jerked. So this is what it looks like, Cheryl, with the flowers planted. And give me just one second. I think I'm gonna have to, goodness, this thing, um, sit you down for a second so that I can pull the ladder over there. Let me see if there's a bench I can step on. Yeah, maybe I can reach it with this bench. Because the problem is putting the stuff down. So let's hope that I don't break the bench. I can do it. That's okay. I will get it right now. Because I can't be trusted to do it later. <laughs> okay. It is... $48, so $48, there's a look inside, and behave, there we go, and you see it's lined for your plant, so $48 on that one, hey Carol, all right, anybody else have any questions that I did not answer, see our mess in the floor, that's all of our soaps we're working on, also, when we have our spring barn and garden event, we will have seeds from the garden to share with you. So we're working on getting those ready for you. And we will be open normal days this week, Thursday and Friday, 10 to five. And Friday and Saturday will be our lavender event. We will have the faux lavender, real lavender plants, dried lavender, and all kinds of fabulous lavender products, some wonderful lavender tea from Piper and Leaf, and some other yummy things to sample. So that will be 10 to 5 Friday and Saturday this weekend. If uh, you have any other questions after I sign off, just type them in. We will be checking back and answering all your questions. If you are new and have purchased tonight, we need your email address and your shipping address if you need us to calculate shipping. Thanks so much, ladies, and we'll see you again in the shop soon.